everybody, this is Ernie Hatmaker here, and I just want to show you the deer plot. Well, I guess it could be for rabbits too, but it's basically an untreated small food plot that we kind of put out, not so much as bait, because, you know, if the animals don't eat it, that would be great, then we could harvest it. But it's similar to the three sisters, except it's basically two. So a lot of them have come up and you can see the beans mixed in with the corn and uh, some of them are still coming up it just rained so that's helped a few of them the fake corn glories are coming up too which I try to pull up as much stem as possible a few weeds are coming up And you can see that there's been a couple of bugs already over here that have put a few holes in them. But for the most part, they're untouched. Um, like I said, the corn is coming up with the beans. I need to look at what I wrote to see what kind of beans I planted because honestly I forgot. The main thing that I've been doing though before this rain came was pulling up these false morning glories. They'll actually put off some little blue flowers, but they will quickly climb up everything and wrap around and yeah, that's not good for anybody. That corn's trying to come up and just help it out a little bit there. There we go. I didn't ex really expect to get my hands dirty out here, but uh, I am going to help my plants as much as I can. even if they might end up being sacrificial. And these little false morning glory things are everywhere and they hide right out here among everything. And if you just throw them down in the dirt, see those roots? They'll just climb back in even if you just throw them down. So I, I really should be putting them in a bucket or something, but I'm not going to. Look at that. I could have sworn I threw these roots out. But uh, if you leave the roots that you till up in there, guess what they do? It's almost like somebody came out and took the roots and threw them back in here. I'll show you what I did with the rest of them. You can see the rest. All those huge roots that um, when I tilled, I threw them all out on the side of the bed. I'm not anti-wild grasses and whatnot. I just don't want them in my bed. Now, lady, get, look at that. There's a grasshopper. Little baby grasshopper. You see it? It's almost the same color as the the dirt two of them tiny little things and they're going to try to devastate this whole bed they won't leave anything for the deer and the rabbits they'll eat everything as soon as they see signs of green and so by the time that you know the deer and rabbits come around there won't be anything because they didn't give it a chance to grow But anyway, there's another Lady Godiva coming out, and another. I'm just going to look one more time and pull up these uh, false morning glories. They're not very firmly rooted because this is a new bed that was sealed recently. Look at that. Something ate that bean. But yeah, hopefully I've planted enough out here that the bugs can eat it, <laughs> the deer can eat it, the rabbits can eat it, and everybody live happily ever after and I'm really hoping that this um, squash 
this well this Lady Godiva pumpkin takes off so that well so that I can get some seeds out of it because those seeds taste so good roasted oh my gosh I love pepitas so since we're over here I'm eventually going to put a path here to this mullein plant and it's almost um, in its third layer now and so I'm really excited about that because I plan on using these leaves really soon and um, getting a little bit of dried mullein so that we can make things in the future. And again, since we're so close to the soybean field, I don't know if the deer are going to come out here right now because all the soybeans are coming up. This soybean field was planted the same day as the deer wild animal plot. And it's got, you know, fake morning glory popping up. But look at all that. Those are all soybeans. Edamame. Soybeans as far as the eye can see.